This is a steam plant with a vertical self-made boiler, a Stuart S50 steam engine which turns a blower for the fire in the boiler and a Stuart steam hammer. I'd like to show you how it's made and how it works. The self-made boiler is made of stainless steel. It holds about 2 litres of water. Inside there are 9 welded in vertical smoking pipes, as you can see on these pictures. It is tested with 6 bar and runs with about 3.5 bar. So, as you can see, we need to heat it up a little bit more. The boiler is isolated and heated in a firebox under the boiler with wood and or coal. The boiler has a simple overheater which heats up the steam a little bit before it goes to the engines. Also the water tank is made of stainless steel. The steam that has been used for running the engine goes back to the tank and heats up the water a little bit to help keep the pressure before it is pumped back into the boiler with a steward water pump. The steward steam engine S50 that is powered by the steam runs a little self-made ventilator which helps to keep the fire going. Both the hammer and the steam engine have lubricators. They add oil to the steam to make sure the engine is always lubrified and runs smoothly. This type of hammer is based on Rigby steam hammers, which still exist in real size. To work it, it needs at least two men, the blacksmith and the operator. It is designed for single blows. I'd like to show you now how the steam plant works. First, I fill up the boiler with about 1.6 liters of water. Then I light a fire to heat up the boiler and reach a pressure of 3.5 bar. I open the valve for the Stuart S50 to start the ventilator. Eventually, I open the valve for the steam hammer. When I'm done playing with the steam plant, I let everything cool down. Then I empty the boiler and the water tank and clean out the pipes and engine with compressed air. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit my website or my forge in Senwald. <laughs>